Team exercise 49. Transferring. During the exercise the team will stand in two lines facing each other. The trainer tells the team which is line A and B. The persons in line A now say to the person in front of them a color. Red, white or blue. The person in front of them repeats the color out loud. Now it's person B turn to say a color and person A repeats the color out loud. Now both lines will take a step backward and do the same thing without changing their volume. The listener now has to pay close attention to what's being said. The purpose is that everyone is really focused to the one in front of him and ignore the noise around him the other persons are causing. This way the communication remains. Now they can, next to red, white and blue, also say other colors, still on the same volume. Now it's more difficult for the listener to hear what the one in front of him says because this time it can be all kinds of colors. When this goes well everyone takes three big steps back so everyone now stands further away from each other. Again on the same volume a color is being said and being repeated by the other person. Now it's almost impossible to hear the color so they have to find another way of communicating. For example, by excessive articulation, so the listener on the other side can read the lips of the person saying the color. Just as long as they both know they have the same color in mind. Now you tell the participants to not name a color, but an animal to the person in front of them. Again on the same distance. When person A said the animal to person B, person B repeats the animal. Just as long until they both know for sure they have the same animal in mind. Now person A and B are going to stand as far away from each other as possible. As long as they can see each other. The next step is that they say a random word. It can be anything. Because the listener doesn't know in which category the word is, it's now even harder to communicate. Maybe now it's necessary that they have to personate the word. When the word is being personated, the listener also repeats the word by personating it too. Just as long until they both know they have the same word in mind. Everyone walks back to each other and checks if the words actually were the same and discusses what went well and where there could be some improvement in the communication. The trainer guides the team and applies variations to the exercise. What kind of variations you can read below this video on YouTube. And haven't you subscribed yet? Click on the subscribe button to stay tuned for a new team exercise each Sunday on youtube.com slash team exercises to improve cooperation and communication.